Essential thrombocythemia, or ET, is characterized by an isolated elevation in platelet count. ET is not a common disease. There's probably somewhere in the range of about 5,000 new cases a year. Driving factors leading to, I'll call it a phenotype, or diagnosis of ET, are mutations in one of just a couple genes, the most common being a gene called JAK2. Also, uh, probably second, uh, is a, a gene called calreticulin, or CalR. And then, much less commonly, uh, but also uh, possible, is in a gene called MIPL, uh, or MPL. Essential thrombocythemia is thought to be one of the more indolent uh, myeloid proliferative neoplasms. And indolent really refers to the fact that for patients under good control, a life expectancy is long. It also refers to the likelihood of complications or progression of the disease. The therapies for ET are um, hydroxyurea uh, and anegrelide. Hydroxyurea is an old, old chemotherapy uh, pill and what it does is it just slows down the production of blood cells, all blood cells. For many patients, it's very well tolerated. It does have some side effects that can be limiting. Anegrelide is a, uh, also a pill, um, generally pretty well tolerated. We do have uh, some limitations in patients who have abnormal heart function, shouldn't be on a drug like anegrelide. There are also a number of uh, practitioners and an increasing recognition of the uh, important role for interferon in the treatment of essential thrombocythemia. Low-dose interferon can have uh, very dramatic effects in essential thrombocythemia in terms of normalizing blood counts. Uh, it's a drug that can be used during pregnancy, so is often uh, utilized in uh, patients who have ET who want to become pregnant. Essential thrombocythemia is not a disease you would send for an allogeneic transplant. Uh, the reason being is patients do so well 